you also uh, produced and wrote on two seasons of uh, The Legends of Chamberlain Heights. Mm -hmm. Then in 2017, you put together The Jellies. Well, well, Tyler, the creator, put it together and you came in as a, as a right, writer? Right. A, a, yeah, producer, writer. Got it. Mm -hmm. Did you work directly with Tyler? Yeah. What was Tyler like to work? Because he's always, Tyler is such an interesting artist that yeah. he's so much outside of the norm and he's so successful at that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, the albums he creates are, they're not really hip hop albums, but yeah. they are. And, you know, he's won Grammys for them and has a incredible following. But what he does is not really hip hop, but it does work. Yeah, because he just does what the fuck he wants to do. Yeah. And working with him, he, he was also like really, really inspiring to me too. Seeing him work, right? Because he's like, <laughs> in his brain, I don't even know how it works, man. Because like we'll be at the right, we'll be at the right at the table writing, and he'll be like, I don't know, burning some like crayons in the ashtray or some shit like that, right? <laughs> and and you think he's not listening, but he's tuned all the way in, and he'll like pitch an idea, and then he'll go like go to the top of the stairwell and just like jump down off the off there just and like land on the couch or some shit like that or he'll i remember one time i remember one time like i walked around a corner and he was standing in the corner like with his he had his pants pulled all the way up to like to his chest and he was like standing in the corner right i was like yo what are you doing he was like he said bro he said i had to i had to amuse myself as a fucking kid leave me alone <laughs> he's like I do shit like this sometimes. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool, man. You know, but he, but he would also, sometimes he would like bring his computer, he sit on the table and he'll be like making a beat. Right. And we're like talking about an episode and he'll go, no, what should happen is that motherfucker needs to wear a black shirt. It needs to be Drake's Drake sweater. And, 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 and he steals Drake's sweater. And he'll go back to making, you know. I was just like, "Yo, I don't even understand how your mind works, bro." But he, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's. I and it, I tell you one thing that one, one thing he kind of, he kind of taught me. He was like, um, he pitched this episode one time. And he was like, he was like, "Yo, what if like a bunch of nuts invaded a town and took over, right? And like gentrified this whole town, some peanuts, right?" And I was just like. But, but why peanuts? He said, why the fuck not? <laughs> He's like, why does shit have to have a reason all the fucking time, you know? And and I was like, okay, you got a point, right? And a lot of times his ideas will be will be like that, real spontaneous and just kind of like, like, you know what I mean? And, but they'll work in a weird way, you know? And and so he's a oh he's a he's a genius, man. Dope. Wait, what was the they did a parody, something Tyler was involved with animation wise did a Vlad TV parody. It was called Flat DV or something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't see it. But you know that that and that show, that show <laughs> how that show came to an end was kind of funny too. Oh yeah? I don't yeah. What happened? What? <laughs> um so so Tyler tells us this he tells us this story where like I guess he met Wu, the Wu Tang clan for the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh I think it was like Method Man that like grabbed him. It's like, yo, you, you need. I want you to come to come to the trailer. I want you to meet Ray and the crew, or whatever. So Tyler goes in there and he meets them, and he's talking to Ray, and Ray is just basically like, you know, like you know, I know you, you're you're inspired by what, what you know the work that we've done or whatever, and like, you know, what I'm saying, you know, he was kind of like, you know, it'd be nice to pay some homage or whatever, and and. Tyler said, he's like, yo, no disrespect, but I never listened to a Wu-Tang album in my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I was just like, wait, you said you said this? And, and he, But he didn't think anything about it, right? And Ray was like, yo, get this nigga out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, um, so like Tyler left. And when he told us the story, I was like, bro, we got to do it. We got to do this. We got to put that in the show. Like, there's got to be a way to put that in the show. So we were going to do this whole episode um, about Wu-Tang and... Uh, he 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 kind of got cold feet and wanted mm. wanted to you know he didn't he didn't well he just it was really like he didn't really want to create no kind of issues with them and, and he did really like fuck with them and respect them but the truth is like he was inspired by other shit you yeah. know what I mean and so he he didn't he just didn't wanted to go out there and have a bunch of like niggas mad at him so um so he so he you know he wanted to take the show um he wanted to pull the episode but Adult Swim was like we already spent all this money yeah. 
we spent this money, bro. And, and they liked the episode. Um, and I wrote it, by the way. And so um, Tyler basically spent his own money to change it enough oh. to where it wasn't like in any way insulting, you know, wow. which okay. wasn't our, which wasn't our objective anyway. I mean, it's Wu Tang. We all like they legends, and you know, yeah. it wasn't never like it was all love. But anyways, that that kind of caused some friction with the network, and they ended up just pulling the show. I actually found it. It was uh, it was this episode of the Jellies right here which has like a Vlad TV parody oh, logo yeah, in the corner. Yeah, yeah. It was actually a parody of an Uncle Murder. Murder that's right. It was, it was, Uncle, it was an Murder. Uncle Murder like DVD clip, yeah. but they incorporated Vlad TV. It's like I gripped the, up on that thing. Yeah. He said, I ain't even, mama, mama. I ain't even mama. had no thing on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So that was nice to actually see. I think that. I played him too. I played that character. There you go. There you go. Another Vlad TV. Another Vlad TV. I mean, you would just yeah, keep man. popping up.